What up, y'all? It's your man, Apple American. Uh, working on a new concept, new idea here. I don't, I don't know if I, if it's been said anywhere before now. Maybe I read it and it's just I'm like rehashing something that I read, or maybe this is something that I just came across myself. I don't know. I'm gonna hash it out here with you guys right now. We know about the hamster wheel. The hamster wheel is the rationalization process that women use in order to uh well rationalize away their incongruities incongruencies both in speech and action we know hypergamy is dualistic and at times duplicit so since the two match each other why do we ever view them as something separate or different i don't think the hamster wheel is separated from hypergamy I actually think that the hamster wheel is the social expression of the biological function of hypergamy. Now, if we look at men, men have a similar mechanism inside of them. When we look at men, the polygamous nature of men is the social expression of the biological function of sexual opportunism. Because opportunism. men are sexual opportunists. Women have sex at will. Men have sex when the opportunity presents itself. It's my humble opinion, but going back to hypergamy and the hamster wheel, why on earth do we view the two as separate? The, they're one and the same. I don't think there's any difference between them. Now, there not being any difference between the two doesn't really make a difference at the end of the day. All the rules of the hamster wheel and hypergamy technically apply. It's just I don't know, maybe if you want to break it down into subcategories, but really, when you think about it, the two are one and the same. Now, here's the thing. When we look at, like, women and differences in women, we notice that, like, hypergamous uh, 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 instincts, if you will, or hypergamous expression is greater in some women and lesser in others. And since hypergamy... We accept that hypergamy is directly related to a woman's menstrual cycle, her reproductive cycle, and whatnot. I think that this also makes a type of perfect, perfect type of sense that it would be stronger in some women and lesser in others. Because just like in men, we talked about testosterone just earlier, just a minute ago, and and uh, and and the social expression through through polygamy. Some men have high testosterone, and so they have a higher desire for women or more women. And some men have lesser testosterone. And so they are very monogamous type of guys who are never thinking about trying to go out and get another woman. If we look at my video in the past where I said that hypergamy to women is polygamy to men, this makes perfect sense in terms of a balance in terms of biology. Higher testosterone men desire multiple women. Higher hypergamous women have a stronger hamster wheel and therefore they also like they also probably have higher sexual amount amount of sexual partners because they're trying to capitalize and maximize on their hypergamy although um I'm, we're kind of jumping off subject here but let's just come into like female sexuality and women who bang a lot of guys really this isn't like you know men and women are the same no one Men are looking for uh, to maximize their reproductive strategy based off testosterone. Another is trying to maximize her, the woman, reproductive strategy based off hypergamy. A man, he wants to genetically make sure he reproduces. This is subconscious, you know, and a woman wants to maximize on her hypergamy so that she gets the highest amount of provisioning that she can possible. Each following their own strategy, but with different mechanics running in the background. Uh, so when we look at like the differences in women, this can also, you know, this uh, social expression of hypergamy, AKA the hamster wheel can be more intense in certain ethnicities than others. Now, this is an area of speculation that I can't go into, but 
when we look at like, you know, men, if we use men as the comparative, if we say that polygamy in men is equal to hypergamy in women, then we can look at men and say African-American men, as we know, it's a study that's been done, produce on average up to 30% more testosterone than any other ethnicity or any other group of men on the planet. And therefore, that testosterone expresses itself socially through their sexual behaviors. Black American men in specific are known for their, you know, sexuality and all this other type of other stuff, you know, that it comes with high testosterone. So what would prevent the same or the equivalent being in place in women? Nothing really, because there has to be a complementary biological function in men and women. There has to be sperm to eggs, hmm? testosterone to estrogen, polygamy, hypergamy. Now, what group of women displays the highest amount of like hypergamous social expression by way of the hamster wheel that's again like i said before that's up for debate that's something that i haven't contemplated uh i don't even know if it's necessary it's just i think what's more important is understanding the women in your circle uh the women that you're interested in or the women you're in a relationship with and how her hypergamous nature is being socially expressed uh by way of the hamster wheel you'll get a general idea of how much hypergamy is um you know, within her, let's call it unrequited hypergamy. <laughs> you can get a good idea of how your relationship is going to turn out just by looking at how, how high speed and high gear the hamster is spinning that wheel. And then you have a general idea of how high and how strong her hypergamous nature is at that particular moment in time. And as we know from reading Roald Tomasi's book, uh, a woman's hypergamous nature, it increases or decreases according to her age, her beauty, all this type of stuff, uh, her menstrual cycle, it can vary. So you can get a general idea of where you stand uh, by just paying attention to the hamster wheel. Which means the two aren't really the difference. There, there's no difference between the two. Do you see what I'm saying? If you can get a general idea of how hard the hamster is spinning through social expression, the way that she's responding to you and the way that she's responding to situations, you will have a general idea of how strong her hypergamy is actually operating at a particular point in time, since it's a biological function. Do you see what I'm saying? I'm, I'm working this out right here, right now. So you get, <laughs> this is just a new hypothesis. I don't know if this, someone said this before, but this is just something that kind of clicked on me one day. And I was just like, Hey, you know what? Bing! Light bulb type thing went on. Maybe I connected something to disparate, uh, disparate uh, uh, pieces of information and I put it together myself. I don't know. Um, but this is just a hypothesis I've been working on. And uh, I think I'm on to something here. I don't know. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section. This is your man, Abu American. Catch me on Instagram, Twitter, Steam it, Facebook, all at Abu American. I'm out.